Hey everyone and welcome back to Upload to Download and today I wanted to do an exploration video of Ubuntu 13.04 which just came out because it's the fourth month of course and uh, 0.04. So we're going to go through and naturally explore some of the new changes with this upgrade and I'll notice things as I go and maybe point stuff out that I do or do not like. It's pretty opinionated so uh, if you don't like that and get lost. So this is Ubuntu 13.04 or Raring Ringtails uh, login screen. Nothing really has changed here at all. I'm actually running this in a virtual machine right now, so it might not be as quick as normal. So don't give me any performance related comments. Got it? Okay. So first thing I notice here is uh, this desktop wallpaper doesn't look particularly uh, particularly imaginative <laughs> compared to 12.10. This is just kind of flipped a bit. I notice there's a few icons here that look a bit different. We've got a different icon for the Ubuntu Software Center as well as this, uh, what is this, the dashboard icon? One thing that I read a lot about when Ubuntu 13.04 was in development stages is that they were definitely spending a lot of time on their uh, icons and animations for the Unity panel. They've also worked on the performance. Apparently it's a lot quicker uh, more nimble. It's been enhanced and tweaked so that it works better with phones and tablets that this sort of stuff can now run on, of course. There's probably a lot of fade animations that aren't showing up here because I am running this in a virtual environment just for the sake of recording. So since we're in this panel here, let's uh, try searching something. So we'll go terminal. So as you can see here, I've searched terminal and I'm getting suggestions here for shopping results. And I don't actually know if I totally agree with that concept. Uh, commercializing my desktop is not something I'm particularly interested in. Uh, this just seems like advertising, to be honest. But uh, this is how you purchase songs now. And since we have these songs here, we can actually preview them by uh, right-clicking on them, and it comes up in a little preview menu, and we get the cover art here, and I believe, yes, we can play a preview, but for copyright reasons, I'm gonna stay right away from that. Yeah, so you can then flick through them one by one, and uh, preview, and I believe that that works for all things that you look at on here. Can you pre? Yes, you can preview anything by right clicking, and then it gives you this little menu. Yeah, so they've removed the Ubuntu One Music Store from within Rhythmbox, and it's now from in there. And here it is again to do with all the sales and advertising sort of stuff. I mean, Amazon and Ubuntu One Music, they're, they're really changing from a open source Linux community sort of thing into a really, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. It's, hmm. So another thing we have is the social lens. So we might actually try and give that a go. So I've just added my Twitter account. So let's see how we can access this social lens. So, oh, I, it must be this here. So apparently this is a social lens. So as we can see here, we've got messages where all of the tweets or I assume Facebook messages would come up there as well. Mentions from Twitter, we've got private messages and we can expand this out and see it like this. So we can look at all the individual items. Yeah, okay, yeah, I don't mind that. I, it's nice integrating it into the system. It might just be me, but I don't particularly like this sort of interface for browsing this sort of content. So something else that's new is they have a new Ubuntu One Sync Center apparently but I don't actually have an account. I don't actually plan on making one because I'm pretty fine in terms of cloud storage accounts that I already own. And I don't want to keep adding to that tally. So I'm going to give this one a pass just for the plain sake that uh, I don't want any more sync accounts. But as we can see here, there's Ubuntu One and you can turn it on and off so you can stop it from syncing or backing up to the cloud. Something that I noticed just a moment ago is that the workspace switcher is gone. They've moved it. Okay, so in appearance, behavior, enable workspaces. There we go. Nice little workspace switcher. So let's give that a go. Tap, drag. Looks like they've updated the graphics so we actually get to see which panel we're on. And we also have a show desktop. Okay. As you can see here, I've got a bunch of Mozilla Firefox windows open and if I right click i can choose between which window i want to look at shameless plug i know i can also click and get like a expose styled sort of thing so it appears that those are the main system changes that and the wallpapers the new wallpapers that were determined by the ubuntu wallpaper competition the one i entered and didn't actually get anywhere in <laughs> Yeah, I saw most of these on Flickr, actually. There's one more thing I'm going to show you before I end this video off here. Firstly, though, 
Of course, in the new update, 13.04, you're going to get a new version of Firefox, new version of all the Libra Office. So a lot of the software that comes pre-packaged is going to be up to date, which is kind of expected. Not really system change, but there you go. I don't know that I'll be doing an in-depth video of Ubuntu 13.04 like I did with 12.10, the comparison video. It doesn't seem like there's that much of a change to really justify uh, comparing with another operating system. However, I might do a boot test of Ubuntu 13.04 and Ubuntu 12.10 to see how they stack up. But apart from that, I'm going to end it here. This is the last thing that they've really changed, and that is the Unity Themes session dialogues. So as you can see here, it matches. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Oh yeah, I quite like this. I'm not a big fan of all the commercialization that they're doing. Just like with Microsoft and Windows 8, the amount of commercialization and advertising you get on your home screen is ridiculous. It's, I don't want to log into a computer to be displayed with, buy this, buy that. Anyhow, enough of my opinions. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Upload to Download. It's been quite interesting looking at 13.04 rearing ringtail. We can also look forward to 13.10 late October this year. Saucy Salamander, it's been named. So if you're interested, the download link to Ubuntu 13.04 is in the description. It is free, of course, because it's Linux. Linux kernel 3.8.8 to be precise. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See you later.